All right, y'all, we back again with another video. It's your boy Lawrence. We about to shoot another home ab workout routine within five minutes. So I know this video has been very requested a lot and I finally actually am getting down to it and actually recording another version of another home ab workout routine that you can do at home, at the gym, or outside. So if you haven't saw my previous home at workout video, you definitely want to check that out first before you actually get into the one that I'm about to do right now because this one will be a little bit harder than the one that I did before. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, we're back again. Hopefully you have warmed up already before starting this workout and we're about to get this thing in. So basically for our first exercise, we're going to do 15 four count bicycle crunches. So basically you're gonna get down on the ground, I'm gonna lay down, and we're gonna do 15 four count bicycle crunches like this. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. Like that. We're gonna do 15 four count bicycle crunches. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, one. Two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten, five more to go. Eleven. Two, three, twelve, one, two, three, thirteen, one, two, three, fourteen, one, two, three, fifteen. Whew! Now that wasn't too bad, was it? All right. So next exercise we're going to do, we're going to do ten second planks. So y'all know what a plank is? Basically, with a plank. You're gonna get down or down on your knees. And you're gonna hold this position like this. Make sure your body is straight. Make sure your butt's not up like this, but down like this. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Also, we're gonna add something to it. So basically, when you're doing the plank, we're gonna do hip touches after you hold those 10 seconds. So after the 10 seconds is up, we're gonna go to hip touches like this. So this is hip touches while in the plank position. We are gonna do 10 hip touches. So basically it's gonna be like this. One, one, two, two, like that. So 10 second planks and after, no, yeah. 10 second planks after 10 seconds is up. We're gonna do 10 hip touches and we're gonna do this for three rounds. All right, all right, so ready, set, Go, count down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, 10, 10 hip touches. Ready, set, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. All right, back in the plank, back to the plank. This is step number two for ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, ten hit touches. Ready, set, go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Whew. All right, last set, last set. We got 10 seconds of planks. All right, ready, go. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, 10 hip touches. All right, ready, go. One, one, 
two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo! That was pretty hard right there. All right, y'all. So next up. We're going to do while I'm actually talking, you can actually rest while I'm talking. So basically our next exercise we're going to do is going to do 10 floor wipers on each side. So basically going way down the floor, hands out like this, lay it down. Then you're going to put your legs up like this. Then you go to the left and then you go to the right. And that's one. So we're gonna do ten of those. So one on the left, one on the right. So one, one, two, two. We're gonna do ten of those. All right. Ready. Set. Go. One. One. Two. Two. Make sure you keep the legs up. Three. Three. Four. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, ten, whew. All right, next we're going to super set into a six inch hole, so Six inch hold, basically come down like this, then you hold it. And we're gonna hold the six inch hold for 30 seconds. All right, six inch hold. Ready, set, go. Make sure you hold it and tighten your core and keep breathing. All right, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Whew. Good job, y'all, good job. We're almost done with this workout. All right, next we're going to do is 10 butterfly crunches. So butterfly crunches is basically sit on the ground like this. And you're gonna come up like this. Like that. We're gonna do it for 10 times. Alright. And if you like this workout, make sure you comment below. Share this with others. And we're about to get this next exercise in. So 10 butterfly crunches. Then after the butterfly crunches, we're gonna go into long body hold. So long body hold. Basically, you're gonna come down like this, stretch wide open, all the way back, and you're gonna hold it as long as you can. That exercise, you definitely feel it all in your core. So make sure you stretch really wide and hold it all as long as you can until failure. We're gonna go right into that after the butterfly crunches. crunches. All right, 10 butterfly crunches. Ready, set, go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, we're going to long body hold. Make sure you hold to failure. All right, long body hold. Let's get it. Make sure you hold it. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. And with that, the ab five minute home ab workout has been completed. All right, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoyed that quick home ab workout. 
If y'all did, make sure you like and comment below. Share this workout with your friends. Make sure you are able to do the first ab workout that I did a year ago before attempting this workout because this workout is a little bit difficult. And also, you can also add more sets and more sets and reps to your workout if you feel like this is too easy for you as well. And also, keep in mind too when getting abs, you definitely want to focus more on your nutrition more than fitness because abs are rebuilt in the kitchen, but at the same time, they are formed in the gym. So. Doing ab workouts is definitely great to help tone your muscles within your ab abdominal area, but definitely you will want to work on your nutrition as well. So if your nutrition is on point, then you definitely won't have your abs visible to help lose that fat that's actually covering those abs. So definitely make sure you place an emphasis on that. And if you enjoyed this video, like I said before, share this with others. This is your boy Lawrence, and I definitely will see y'all in the next video.